Hello everyone, Time Over here, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Software Inc. So, uh, in between episodes, I've uh, gone ahead and decided what we're going to do today. We are going to build a new campus for our company. Um, but I'm not moving the company per se. Um, we're keeping the same map, but I went ahead and bought up this large bit of property uh, kind of far away. So we're way over there. Uh, we are now in the whole back area of the map. Uh, just wanted a big swash of land um, in the roads that we can sort of make a campus kind of style going on. I also bought this plot of land across the street uh, and this is where we're going to put our um, our parking lot area. So we got that going for us. Um, once I'm finished, once I once we get all the rooms and everything situated, we will probably uh, go ahead and take out this building. Um, and sell it or just sell the property because I do want to get all of our stuff over here moving forward just bigger plots in general over in this area uh, over here we just got a lot of small little blips that I don't really want to deal with um, and if we're gonna move the company might as well move it you know all at once it's gonna cost us a lot of money I've already spent a good bit of change almost I think probably around two million bucks um, buying up these these there's only two properties two um, plots of land over here but they were like eight hundred thousand dollars a piece and this one was about three hundred thousand which is you know a good chunk of change but we'll, we'll make do um, so yeah today we are just going to design our new um, our new layout so I don't think we're actually going to get to any um, development of any of the softwares we'll see but we're mainly going to focus on designing our our new new company headquarters here um, and so on and so forth so first off let's go ahead and throw in the um, the parking lot so we're going to want to get a ramp first thing and I think I'm going to go this way Go up a little bit, and then I'll go increase the uh, the flooring. We'll go to the second floor, and we'll start the the you know plots of parking here. Come back down, and then do the same thing on the ba uh, on the basement part here on the first floor. I don't know how many we'll need. We may need to go up another bit here. Um, which we can do, I think, if we just did up oh, wrong way. Uh, can I just remove you? Thank you. Uh, we need we need you here, and then you're not gonna let me get do this, are you? No. No. All right. Well, let's just delete you then. There we go. And we'll put you back in there and then I think what we'll have to do then is something I don't know we're gonna end up in the exact same location all right we'll go that way then that should be fine go up one level and there we go and we'll do something like that for a parking parking area I think it'll be it'll be just fine all right, so we got that going. So we got a lot of teams uh, now in this game. And I was counting them up, more or less. Uh, we're still going to try to separate them out, similar to how we did in our original building. Uh, keep the design aspects of each team in their own location, in their own team, and get the development part into a, a situation here. Um, where they're nearby and they have their meeting rooms and so on and so forth. We'll need a new canteen, so we'll get going on that. First off, let's start with where our entrance is going to be. I'm thinking just smack dab in the middle. I don't think that's, you know, I don't think there's any reason not to do it that way. So we're going to go ahead. Do I want any sort of parking up front? I think thematically it probably would make sense. Um, but... I don't know if it's if it's needed. Uh, so I don't want that. I want I want these big ones because you know this is nice. Well, I mean there is something to be said about doing this uh, when you first start building. 
because it does allow you to do a lot more customization. You get into trouble, I found, if you change the grid size after you've already started building, as it can cause some issues placing things. It's always best to stick with one grid size, the best, you know, as you go through it. At least that's what I've found. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead. I think I'm going to get a, a reception up first. If we take a look at our current reception, I don't think we need to change much about it. Can I? I can copy this, right? Um, but da, 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 blueprint it. Yeah. I'm just going to take this and try to reuse as many things as I can since it's already, you know, a thing. And uh, try to get it to be sort of centralized in this group. I almost want to make like the entrance a little bit in and then work our way out. Sort of in like a, an M style, I guess. I think that would be kind of interesting. Can I figure out how long this is? 104. So that's the middle part right there. Well, <clears throat> these two are the middle parts then, I would imagine. So right here is the is the middle. So if we put the entrance like right here, that would be that would be uh, preferable. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go and grab this room again and clone it, and we'll come back over here. Ooh, all right, did I? Uh, what? Apparently, I bought that. I don't remember buying that, but okay. That's, I guess, is fine. Um, and I, yeah, I don't know if I want it so far down. I kind of want something like having it in the middle of the area here. And then putting some sort of fencing outside um, to denote where we can, you know, walk to and so on and so forth but can I do that without getting a little because that actually makes it into can I delete that then or put in a door of some sort open gate delete that and then put in a open gate Yeah, I mean, that that's sort of what I'm going for there. If I could, I wish I could, like, floor this area, though. That'd be the only thing. Like, I'd like to put in, um, like, a pathway. But I don't think you can do that. I think there are mods that let you do that, but I don't think you can do that in the base game, unfortunately. I don't want to sell anything. Stop. No. There we go. Um... And actually this, I'm just going to delete that. That's not really needed. Do I want this? I don't think. I don't think I really do. Just get rid of it. Because my ultimate goal is to have sort of like a couple different buildings. You know, campus -wide, campus style buildings. Um, over here, we'd have like 2D, uh, up here 3D, and, and so on and so forth. We'll have support off somewhere else. Maybe in the center, we would have a mess hall that, uh, you know, connected everything. So, you know what? Maybe we don't want it somewhat in here like that. And you know what? I think that's true. Because, I mean, that being said, we could make the reception here, and then it branches off into a large area um, for our mess hall kind of thing. Delete. Let's just delete that. Uh, where am I at here? 
All right, what I want is a clone. Let's clone this again. Because, yeah, I'm not going to reuse the mess hall because it's very, like, jam-packed. We're sort of growing the company here, and I want more room, more space uh, for more employees. Because I don't know if we really service all the employees very well with this. Um, I'm actually going to discontinue the use of these printers. As I don't even know why I still have these here. Uh, they shouldn't even be there. All right, let's go ahead and grab you again. Uh, clone. And again, we might redo that. We may retool this. And I lost my I lost my uh, marker there. Should have just kept it on there because it's easier for me to do it. So let's just do this. This time, we're not going to delete it. I'm going to leave it there just in case I do this again, and I want to see where that marker is. So let's take the clone tool. We'll come over here, and we'll plop this down. Um, sure, we'll do that. That's going to be fine. I mean, yeah, it's a little iffy. I mean, it's like right there, but that leaves us a lot of space back here to make a fairly decent sized mess hall, um, as well as sort of a outdoor campus E area. So this is gonna be reception. Um, I'm gonna use a lot of the outdoor fencing, I think, instead of like general hallways, I'm gonna actually try to fence things in to make a proper, um, you know, campus style thing. So we're going to go that way and then over here and then let's see, what was this? This was do, 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 six on that side. Uh, I want two by two hallways, so we're going to try to do something like that. And then go here and then another six down here and snap up like that excellent so they'll leave out that door and they'll come out here and there'll be a nice little open gate which oh, I wish there was a is there a two-person open gate doesn't look like it and I like there we go nice all right and then this will start the new building uh, the mess hall building I suppose is more like it. Um, and really, we probably could have done without this here. Right, I think that I think it'll be replaced. All right, we're just gonna go with sort of a larger-ish area for a mess hall. This might be overkill, but eh, all things will be. Um, brought into here so that's gonna be fine and we'll go with that we can put trees out here as well because this is gonna sort of wrap around and make a little um, outdoor patio area ish although there is something to be said about taking this back and maybe just making a general open out area Nah, we'll keep it as a hallway I think that's I think that'll be all right so this is gonna be the mess hall and I think rather than like cutting out a portion of the actual area here, I'm just going to like expand this to the back here and just put in the kitchen sort of attached to the mess hall. And then this is going to be a uh, limit room usage. Okay, I guess there is no, I thought there was a thing for the uh, kitchen. Mm. Room groups, new. Limit room usage. This is going to be for canteen purposes. And let's get some doors. Uh, do this. Like so. All right. And then what I'm going to do, I should progress this so that, like, there's no people here. Because we can just move this stuff eventually to like set this up but let's get the rooms down and that's gonna be fine this will be for the kitchen um 
and then yeah we're gonna branch out here from there like this thing I want to just basically go all the way around here for right now so we're just gonna go do, do, do up here over like that and we'll break break the connections as is or as needed um, mm -hmm. There and then let's grab you up there and just keep doing this. Oh, can I just do that? Nice. All right, and then this comes down there, and boom. All right, now I think, yeah, you're gonna let me do this, right? Excellent. And by that, I mean new. No. But I should be able to put a gate in here. As well as well as here. There we go. Actually, I probably should have just done that in general. Because it does the same thing and it doesn't cause any you know, issues overall. Alright, so we got that. And then from here, we're going to branch off into respected areas here. So we're going to put a door say right here and this is probably not going to be centered is it 12 uh no we can get it centered do, 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 do. two right there um yep that should be fine and then i'm just going to put another door on this side there we go excellent very good um, and then potentially we'll put another set of doors here so that it can be, you know, people can leave out of each side of this and that's going to be fine. And then, okay, first up, we need the 2D. So that's the canteen. Uh, we'll probably need to set up some bathrooms somewhere. Um, and we can even sort of squeeze them into here. I mean, we could even like kick it out, kick this room out here so that we make a little area for bathrooms. And you know what? I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Eventually. Urgh. Yeah, you're not going to like that, are you? All right, well, let's do this. Can I delete you yet? Delete. And then go out here. Maybe. Delete. Delete. All right, well, that's the general idea. Um, so we need this. Let's go back actually and grab a. Ooh. I want. I kind of want this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clone this and move it over to our new area here. And then will you fit? Why well, yes you will. Excellent. Just drop you in there. Oh come on. All right, we're spending a lot of money. Uh, meant to actually clone all of that. I thought it looked a little small. Um, all right, let me see if I can get all of this. Okay, and clone. That looks about right. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo, I think we want to be this way, if I'm not mistaken. Excellent. All right, so the canteen now has some bathrooms. Fantastic. Um, and people can come in here from outside, use the use the toiletries, and so on and so forth. All right, and then over here, we're going to start to set up our little offices and uh, areas of use. Um, I'm thinking... So, like, that's going to come all the way down there. Let's go ahead and finish this again. What? Can't build inside rooms. Okay. There we go. That was weird. All right, you're good to go. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and just put in a cut, you know, another gate here, 
just to keep those things sort of separated out. And then from there, you guys are going to create a new building, I think. Do, 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 do. Um, so we need the 2D. 2D's got three designers and eight developers. So we're gonna need a large, we're mainly gonna need just enough space in order to put all those people into, um, including their own meeting space. We could put 2D and 3D together in the same location. Um, do we wanna do that? We could even make a large building for both 3D and 3D game development and 2D because they're sort of, fairly similar um, you know what let's do that I'm just gonna make a large work area here that we can sort of maybe segregate out and try some rooms there we go that might be enough. We may have to tweak it and, and add to it, but I think for right now we'll we'll make do with that. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to separate these out. We're going to throw in some doors. Might put it in like that for right now. Do we want to do that or do we want to sort of make them centered? I guess it depends on how our interior is going to be. We're running out of time in this episode. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't want to do just like a general grid kind of format, but you know, that might be, might be the easiest, especially since we're sort of going to need a, um, a hallway in here. So maybe what we do I don't know, because that's kind of awkward with this much space. I mean, I could throw in another bathroom, actually. You know what? Let's do that, just to offset this a little bit. Come on. There we go. And then do this, and we'll just, we'll just add in another bathroom. Oh my gosh, so awkward. Must be so far apart. Urgh. Um, right. So I think it probably would be easier to delete this room actually. So delete, and then let's just see if we can do one of these. Perfect. We're gonna move this. Move that. And we're going to knock down that wall and just throw in another one of those. That kind of throws things off. But we can still get sort of centered-ish. There we go. Good. And actually, that's actually very symmetrical. <laughs> so I think we're okay. All right, and from there, yeah, the campus is going to break up a little bit in terms of buildings. I mean, you're going to leave out of there and get stuck into this hallway. Well, we don't have to do that. We can just make this building a little bit bigger, sort of like that. And then this will be a hallway here. And from there, you're going to go in and have, like, different rooms, I suppose. Um... What I could do is put a centralized room that is the um, meeting space for our team. Might actually look to increase this a little bit. So like something like this, either that or maybe in the center or in the middle here or in the corner, uh, just get a large room for meeting purposes. Like so, 
and then sort of subdivide the rest of this into working areas. Uh, I don't like that there, actually. I'm going to go ahead and remove that and put you right here. And then this hallway, we'll like just subdivide it like so. And then we've got this large area here, but we probably should still subdivide it even further. Oops, let's get the square tool here. Okay, I guess I need to just do this. All right, so we got sort of just a basic boring grid pattern going on here after all. Oh well, it's fine. Um, so if we look at this, uh, what do we got? So these could be, this could be the design teams. We need, we don't really have the central location. I could kick this wall out further and make that central location so that you have like design, development um, for 2D and 3D, and then they have their meeting space. That is entirely possible. Alternatively, we could condense this, make these rooms smaller. Um, but, I, you know, this is not a bad size for, for it, to be perfectly honest. Hmm. I don't know. But this episode has gone on long enough. So we'll go ahead and put a cut in the, vi the video. So again, uh, the next... This episode and the follow-up episode is most likely going to be constructing this new campus. Uh, so if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And otherwise, we'll see you next time with a continuation of this build. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.